What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Loho Plays. We are back from the episode of Pokemon RNG Sweltering Sun Hardcore Nuzlocke, where we randomize our team of six before every major boss fight. If you don't know what Pokemon Sweltering Sun is, make sure you check out the description below. And without further ado, we're gonna RNG today for Hal at Melly City and I think Guzmo. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Um. Oh, let's pull out the RNG randomizer. Oh, I also got some more encounters. I forgot to mention that. Um, so we got Arthur the Cabalion. So all these are island scans after finishing the last island. So we have Arthur the Cabalion, Charles the Terrakion, Camelot the Verizion. Ironically, we still end up getting three of the Swords of Justices, just like how we got all three uh, Regis. Um, and then we also got Nugget the Poipole, Cheeks the Sandy Gas, and then we have Pringles the Frillish. So that is going to total us up to 91 encounters. So let's go ahead and start getting into some RNG. The first one is five off the rip. So we got Lombre. Next is 79. So this is 60, 66. Um, let me quick snapshot. 66, 72, 78. 79 is going to be Galapagos the Tortuga. 81. Man, the worst part about RNGing stuff is math. 66, 72, 78, 79, 80, 81 is going to be Baxter the Tyrant. Next is 62. 62 is going to be Eek the Mantike. 67, 66. 67 is going to be Petunia the Comfy. And then finally, 81. God damn it, math is so hard. Um, 66, 72, 78, 79, 80. wow, we already pulled 81. Okay, crazy. 61, that is going to be Illumise, the Owl City. Wait, or no, Owl City, the Illumise. So, using this team of six, we are going to team prep. Of course, make sure you check out for timestamps so you can watch what you want to watch. So, yeah. For YouTube purposes, we are about to take up Hal, um, their team. Let me increase it for y'all so y'all can see it a wee bit better. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, this one. All right. Have your dashboard up on YouTube? I have it on my phone. Yeah. So for YouTube purposes, we're about to take on Hal. They have Alolan Raichu, Metacham, a a Ambipom, and Noivern. Um, as well as since they have the Rowlet, or since I chose Rowlet at the beginning, we're going to be facing off against Simiseer and Brion. Um, but uh, I'm only basically going to show this top part uh, while we do the battle. Um, but yeah, that is their squad essentially. And then looking at our team, uh, we have a rough matchup, I'm not going to lie. But we are going to be leading off with Kumpe. We are slower, which activates our Grassy Surge second to Raichu's... Um, Psychic Surge, which means immediately when we come out, it's going to set up Grassy Terrain. So, pros and cons. Pro, um, we go into Lombre. We can take a Psychic. It will proc our Citrus Berry. Um, we'll be at 70-something percent, and then we will get some Fake Out Chip. Oh, I forgot I'm missing a move. Uh, instead of Giga Drain, we need um, Parting Shot. That's a little goof. Little goof, just just a little taste of what you can get here on the channel. Goofs, gaffs, laughs, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, parting shot will be really nice, especially since we're prankster, we're guar guaranteed to outspeed. Um, so that'll be very useful. But basically, we can take one. We can take one psychic. It will act activate our citrus berry. We're gonna fake out, and then we're most likely gonna parting shot out to reduce the damage, and then go into Mantine. And then Mantine is a jacked button. Um, so then we'll just double right back out in a Lombre and then get off another fake out and then go for a Speed Bomb. And we should be able to kill the Lolan Raichu. Following that, it could be Noivern because if the AI understands um, uh, like Aerialate, it could be Noivern. I don't think it will. I think it will most likely be Metacham next because the highest damaging move is Rock Slide. Um, but on Metacham, we will also go Lombre, or not Lombre, Mantine. Um, we'll be able to take any hit, especially since we're max defense. Um, and then we'll go out to Kumpe, in which a Dazzling Gleam into a Pixie Dust guarantees a kill even after Grassy Terrain. 
um, they gain back a little bit of healing. So once we kill the Metacham, um, Amy Palm will come in and we're going to actually protect turn one to prevent the Retaliate uh, being boosted from the death of its ally Metacham the following turn. And then following that, we are going to switch into Tyrant on the Retaliate. We are like a weird spread, uh, HP attack and defense. Um, we are able to take the Retaliate and then the following turn we, we are able to take the Choppleberry. Uh, with Choppleberry we're, we're able to take the Brick Break, excuse me. Um, and then we will kill it with a, a combination of Jagged Fangs into Excel Rock plus its Life Orb damage. Um, so a lot of calculations going on here. This even accounts for if Grassy Terrain is up. Um, uh, that it gains back at least 12% uh, from Grassy Terrain, so that should be fine as well. Following that, it should be Noivern to go for Dragon Breath, in which we will go hard into Elomise, um, but also Tyrant will probably be at 2% um, taking on Ambipom. No, not 2% anymore, but probably like 13%, so hopefully it doesn't activate the AI where it'll just go for any move. Um, that will be very, very bad. Um, but yeah, we do have Illumise. Um, Prankster Encore is really, really powerful. We can also Parting Shot on Noivern as well as just spam Draining Kiss. Um, we're running a leftover set. Um, I could also run Colber in case Noivern does decide to go for Commotion, but it's probably fine. Um, we'll be okay. And then we can also always Prankster Parting Shot as well as Draining Kiss. We also have Giga Drain in the back for Brienne late game. Um, and then following that... Um, on Semi Seer, whenever we kill the Noivern, we'll go hard Caracasa. We obviously definitely take the Fire Emblem Z, and then with Quick Claw Razor Shell, we instantly KO that thing. Um, I think I'm running this specific attack because it also helps with like Excel Rock damage into Noivern, but I'm not 100% positive on that. Um, but yeah, once we kill the Semi Seer, it's most likely going to be Noivern. Uh, which potentially, depending on how much Excel Rock does, we'll just one-shot it. But if not, on Waveform, we'll go back and do the Illumise strat. And then on Brion, um, sometimes Illumise can do enough damage with Giga Drain. If it ever types, tries to rehydrate, we'll probably Encore it um, and then spam Giga Drain. But if it also works up, we can also Encore as well. Um, we also have, like, you know, switching into Comfey, setting up Grassy, grassy Surge. Uh, we also outspeed it. We can go for Floor Healing and do some damage with Dazzling Gleam. Or we can double back out into Lombre and um, do lots of damage with Fake Out Seat Bomb. So that is hopefully the plan. I hope nothing goes wrong. Because this one's very sketch. So, yeah. Um, Sorry, right, just wanting to make sure that we're still live. But, yeah. I have a great idea, Lil Hell. Come on, let's have a battle. Oh, God. Pray for fortune. Pray for the fortune, y'all. We need it. We need it right now. Okay. Uh, we're going way too fast. I need I need this to calm down. Alright. Psychic Surge, but then we have the Grassy Surge. So, pros. If this goes for Taunt, very good for us. If it immediately goes for Psychic, very not good for us. So, let's find out uh, which one it's going to go for. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go Serene, the Lombre does go for taunt that's very good for us that's very good um we were we were prepared for anything wait is that good for us yes we just double seed bomb See, sir sir i'm gonna ask you okay all right my cat is very demanding right now i'm sorry go ahead okay all right i think we double seed bomb here i think that's the appropriate play um I'm just trying to think if there's any reason... Yeah, there's pretty much no reason to fake out because I'm not gaining anything from it. Um, and fake out into a seed bomb will never kill. So, well, if it's two high rolls, no, but it gets the 6% back, so... There's no reason to. Alright, agreed. There's no reason to. We seed bomb. He fucking volt switched? Yo, that's really bad. Is this Noivern? Okay, it's... Ambipom? Yo, this is really bad. Okay. Damage, though. Um, that bolt switch is really bad. I thought he would go for Psychic because it does almost half. 
That's really not good. Um, okay. I think we can just parting shot out here. I think it's probably our best play. Um, the weird thing is that it's not gonna have boost to retaliate, which is good. So I think I'm kind of free. Why is it? Why does it say that Ambipon has Psychic? Uh, did this freeze? Ambipom. Um, holy shit, why does this do so? Wait, fuck! Wait, is this highest damaging move U-turn? Hold up, okay. Is this Retaliate or is this U-turn? U-turn is super effective. Holy fuck, is this U-turn? <laughs> Never meet your idols. Yeah, I probably should have fucked. I, I didn't realize, uh... Uh, I didn't- I probably should have faked out there if it was gonna Volt Switch, but... Damn, okay, now I think this is U-turn. Because Retaliate is only 1.5, so 95... Hold up, gotta pull out the calculator. This is so bad. 95 times 1.5 is 143, versus 75 times 2 is 150. So this should always be U-turn, which is really bad, because it just one-shots me, and then he gets Switch, initi switch Initiative. So... Okay, so I should always parting shot. Okay, I always parting shot here. Guaranteed. I am Prankster. That's really bad. That is... Okay. Alright. Alright. Everyone calm down. Oh my god. Okay. So I wonder... Oh my god, we take so much from U-Turn! <laughs> no, not like this! Oh, so if it's U-Turn, okay, so if it's U-Turn... Oh no, it could be Frost Trap. Oh no, oh no! Breath, no, it's gonna be Cross Trap, fuck! No matter who I bring out, it's gonna be Cross Trap. And then I go Mantine. I think it's okay. Who do I need? I think I let need less health on Caracosta. This should always be U-turn. Damn, but if I go Caracosta, it might be Energy Ball Noivern. Or it could be Semi-Seer. No, 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 no. It's gonna be Energy Ball. This better be U-turned or we're so fucked, y'all. Ah. <sighs> Okay, it's U-turn. Huge, 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 huge. I don't think... Oh my god, that did some damage. Okay. Life Orb. Okay, Ambipom is low though, which is good. Which is good. Okay, so it is Noivern. Fuck. Damn, my Jagged Edge kills here. It's not worth going for though. It's highest damage move, so it might not know that I have Energy Ball. But, I think... It's either that or Dragon Breath, so I think Illumise is always safe. Yeah, it's always safe, then we Encore it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, on uh, this is safe, this is safe. Oh my gosh, the- oh dude, this is so bad. He fucking- what?! What?! He just flamethrowered my Caracosta. Yo, what? What is happening right now? Dude, what the flying fuck? Why does he... What the... Oh my god. What is happening right now? What is this AI right now? Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> okay, we have strategy. Okay, okay, so we obviously partner shot here. It's going to be commotion, which actually has guaranteed confusion. Do we have anything for this? 
Because we need Comfey. This is going horribly. I think we... I think... So, okay. So, here's the strat. I think we go Mantine. We go out into Tyrant just to bait the Dragon-type move. And then we double back into Illumise. Right? Hold up. Hold up. Yes. It should always be Dragon Breath and Tyrant. Okay, okay. So, we go Mantine here in the commotion. We're going to take a lot. Um, do we take a Metacham? Fighting move later. Mmm, it's close. 61. Ugh, we don't. I mean, we just have to do this play. Uh, okay. Yeah, we have to take this commotion. Um, unfortunately, this means that if Metacham goes for Psycho Cut later, it's really bad. Okay. E button. Alright. Alright, again. I'm having a heart attack right now. Okay, we go Tyrant to bait the dragon type move. Agreed? Everyone agreed? Please. Everyone say that they agree. Do I kill here with uh, Tyrant? I don't. Alright. Can we all say that this should be Dragon Breath? This should always be Dragon Breath. I'm at full health. Please, Dragon Breath. Please, Dragon Breath. Did I Parting Shot? Or did I hard switch? I think I hard switched. Wow, I'm an idiot. I'm so dumb. Y'all, I'm so dumb. Okay, I'm having a panic attack. Okay, okay. We go Illumise on the Dragon Tape move. I should have always party shot there. I don't know why I didn't. I just took more damage on man time for no reason. Yeah, let's go, Dragon Breath, baby! Alright. Now we Encore this motherfucking bitch. And I am... Prankster. Yes, I'm Prankster. Hype! Okay, this is gonna be a problem in the future though. Okay, so we Encore. Now he's Encored in the Dragon Breath. Dope, dope, dope. This is so bad because Alolan Raichu is still alive. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Alright. Draining Kiss here, always. He'll probably switch. Yeah, fuck. Shut up about that. Alright, no, this is fine. This is fine. This is still. Oh fuck, he's got Instinct? It doesn't matter for Karakasta. This thing also gained an attack boost. Um, we gain back a little bit left uh, HP too, which is really good for later. Alright, this should always be Z Flamethrower. Alright, I always forget, like I always get nervous about Parting Shot, but I really need to use Parting Shot as much as I can. Um, because keeping Karakasa health is actually really important. Because we might need to double XL Rocket and Noi Burn later. Yep, here's Z move. We take this like a champ. We take like no damage from this at all. Dope. Dope, 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 dope. Oh my god, he ate that. He ate that. Okay, um, Razor Shell. I don't think. I don't think either of these moves have a chance to miss, so I'll, yeah. Quick Claw, Razor Shell. Goodbye. Still good. Alright, here comes Noivern again. Okay, so I do want to actually, it looks like I may be 1v1 Noivern. I just one shot it with a Jagged Edge. And he doesn't kill me, but the problem is if he gets a burn, that's pretty bad. And I don't want this stupid thing to flamethrow my guy again. So I can't go back to that situation. So I think I'm just going to Jagged Edge. And I'm guaranteed to one shot here. Yeah, I'm just gonna jagged edge. Okay, energy balled on the bulletproof. Let's fucking go, baby. Oof, that was scary. I probably should have just stayed in with Caracasta. Maybe the first time, but I needed the health. I don't know. I don't know. Oh shit, this thing's out. Okay, Raichu. I think this should always be Volt Switch. Yeah, it's Bolt Switch, and obviously that's really bad. Um, but I don't really have a switch in. I 
think. Do I live? Alright, uh, thirty-one percent chance to die. Okay, not cool. Um, shit. I don't have anyone from Gold Switch. The thing is that I need Comfe at literally full health. I take a little, only just a tad from Volt Switch. So, assuming I take 32 um, from Volt Switch on my Kumpe, that means that I'm at, what, 58? So, 58 plus 32, that's wrong. 68? Two, seven, yeah. So I'm at 68%. I'm going to gain back 6 from Grass Terrain. I'm going to be at 74. Metacham comes in. I can protect for another 6%, then I'm going to be at 80. The only thing is Psycho Cut still kills me. Fuck. Okay. Who's taking a Volt Switch right now? Ambi? Mmm... So I also need Tyrant at full health to take on Ambipomp. How's Illumise taking this? Uh, wait, is it ever Psychic? Chew. Lola. Is it ever Psychic? 75. It should always be Volt Switch. Is it Psychic? Just because it might see the higher base power? Volt Switch is 150 base. Psychic is 90 times 1.5. 90 times 1.5 is 135, and then Psychic Terrain probably boosts it, so it might be Psychic here. Even though it doesn't kill me. Which would be interesting. Wait, Illumise just lives both. Let's just go, let's just go Illumise. If it's Volt Switch here, that's... Hey, he still has the fucking... Hmm, this might be bad because I can't Parting Shot now. Holy shit, it's this guy? Okay, he's got Rock Slide, which is actually terrible because now I have no switch in. Okay, so go Caracosta on the Rock Slide. If I ever just die? So, 95 times 2, 190. Psycho Cut is 80 times 1.5. Okay, should, it should always be Rock Slide, so I think I go Caracosta and then bait the Cross Drop, and then we go Mantine. Let's try this. Let's try it. Show me Rock Slide. Yes, let's go. Ooh, I did not realize it would be that close. Fuck, if this isn't Cross Drop, we're screwed. Alright, I think we have no other options. Please be cross chop. Please be cross chop. Please be cross chop. Let's go! Huge. Mantine's still alive. We got the whole gang still alive right now. This battle is so intense. Okay, okay, okay. Always go Pompeii here. We will take a lot from Psycho Cut, but we will live a crit. And we will Dazzling Gleam into Pixie Dust. Guaranteed. Nice. God damn, that did so much damage. Alright. Again, I calc this. I calc this. This should always die to Pixie Dust at this range. Huge. Huge! Let's go! Alright, 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 alright. It's not over. It's not over yet. Ambipom. Okay, this thing is going for Retaliate, so this is the strategy all along to always protect. So that last turn of the Retaliate is prevented. Dope. Okay. Now, we go... This guy. On the Retaliate. It should never be U-turn. There's the Retaliate. Didn't do that much. Nice. Okay, and then again we have the chapel. 
pretty sure it's almost it's honestly really low health. We might be able to get away with a uh, Excel Rock. Be calm. Mm, no, we can't. Wait. I think I'm very lucky that this Ambipom is at low health because I think I miscalculated all my attack stuff for some reason. It says that my Excel Rock is only doing... Like, my Jagged Edge into Excel Rock would not have killed this. I think I messed up my calc somehow. Alright, well we always Jagged Fang here. We could also Excel Rock twice, but I think we just Jagged Fang. Should live this, Chuckleberry. Huge. Huge. Oh, I forgot about the second hit actually doesn't get chopper buried. Yeah, that was honestly kind of sus. I'm not gonna lie, that uh, that was kind of sus right there. I don't know if we necessarily, if our actual plan was working, I don't know if we lived that. But, okay. Raichu's back out again. We only have to deal with Raichu and then Brion in the back. So right now I'm about to get instant nuked by a Psychic. And I have no switch-ins. So Lomre is low-key good for... Brion in the back. They got an Elite Seed. Although we do take a lot from Aurora Beam, I think. Um, Yeah, I think low-key we're just choosing a sec. Unless... Okay, so Aurora Beam doesn't do that much to Lomre. Let's check Kumpe. Can Kumpe live this? Cassie Terrain, it does 40%. I'm at 54. So we can live one. So I think we live one with Kumpe, and then we double out into... Lomise? How do I kill this thing, actually? Holy shit, how do I kill this thing? I know for a fact we have to get up Grassy Terrain. I just think, I mean, Kombe can 1v1 this, but I have to get up the Grassy Surge and then Floral Healing Spam. And also if it taunts me, that's really bad. Hmm, does Illumise take one Psychic? It looks like it might. So my Illumise takes a Psychic here. So I think I actually go Kumpe. Yeah, I think we Kumpe into Protect to get back a little bit of health. I can also always Floral Healing on Brion with Kumpe. Psychic's gonna do less. No, Petunia! Yikes. Okay, we really have to deal with this Raichu, like, right here and now. The thing is, is if it Volt Switches, holy shit, if it Volt Switches on me and then goes Brion, it's really bad, actually. Because then Psychic Terrain is, is up for, like, several turns. Because now that- oh my god, this is so fucked. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did we go Illumise? Like, if it Volt Switches on me, that's so bad. Man. So we could go Lombre here, and then pretty much, pretty much guarantee, like, seal the deal on, on Brion. But I think Brion is not the problem right now. I mean, we could get the fake out chip off, which is kind of nice. We could do that. He might also taunt. But like, okay, so theoretically, if I go Lombre and he switches, then, oh, fuck, I don't even have protect on this thing. I think we have to leech seed and then like switch out. 
I do still have a citrus left. So if he volt switches, I think we'd be okay. Maybe I lead seed? The only thing is, is like, I don't have protect anymore on any of my guys to stall out the turns, which is really bad. Meaning I'd be having the sack for five turns. Illumise lives one. I think I have to go low Bray. Because if, Il if, if I go Illumise here, it's not great. I think I go low Bray. Oh, uh, it's getting sketchy. It's getting sketchy, boys. All right, um, we fake out just for the chip. Huge chip, huge chip. Might be important for later. Might be important for later. You never know. We also gain back a little bit of health. Huge. Okay, seed bomb. Or do I lead seed on the switch? I think we seed bomb. He taunted, he threw! He threw, he threw, he threw, he threw. Boom. Big seed bomb for the boys. All right, great damage, great damage. I low-key think we... Okay, so he could... Oh, fuck. Are we in, like, a similar scenario now? Because he can actually switch out into Brion again. And then... I can't lead seed it, also. But I can just spam two seed bombs. We seed bomb. We seed bomb. He psychic huge 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 let's go okay 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 huge seed bomb huge seed bomb okay okay it's looking like it's looking pretty good i'm not gonna lie it's looking pretty good um so new move this one is better and it always results in a crit, but also draining because it's kind of nice because I do have technician. And this is like just out of technician. I'll probably just keep draining this. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks for all the cool moves. I know. I know you want to be special just this once, but actually I should replace this because Giga Drain is a uh, tutor move. Okay. Anyway, back to the main story. Back to the main plot. Okay, here's Brion. I low-key think... So they can never... They can... Can they kill me? Okay, I don't think they can kill me. So at 50% or Beam. But I just have to make sure that... I think there's one more turn to turn. Fuck, there is. I also cannot lead Seed right now. So if I Seed Bomb... And they go for a Roar Beam. My mineral is 69 nice and then if i'm minus one 31 so we guarantee kill with two let's go let's go let's go let's go lombre let's go let's go let's go huge 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 oh he worked up oh you absolute fool you absolute fool this is what happens this is what happens when you murder one of our teammates boom get out of here you're gone you're gone. That was for Petunia. That was undeserved. We probably could have kept a full team of six. If that crit didn't happen, we probably would have kept a full team of six. But man, that was that was brutal. Jesus, this match was that Volt Switch's turn one was insane. Um, should I get rid of Air Slash? This move is really cool. Um, uh, but it also requires me to run Power Herb. I could have a stronger Z move, which is also kind of dope. Um, I don't want to get rid of Tearful Look. All right, let's get rid of Tearful Look. Anyway, back to the main plot. Jesus Christ, that was bad. Okay. Oh, yay, our little boy is evolving. Baxter the Goats. Nice work. Jesus, that was a hard battle. Just like that. I mean, I think it ended up working out for me because, like, my Tyrant was not going to kill Ambipom with a combination of Jagged, uh, Jagged Fang into... No, wait, but maybe I put in Jagged Edge instead of Fang? I am kind of curious about that. 
Bagged Fangs against Ambipom. Because for some reason... Oh, no, 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 we still guarantee. I put in Jagged Edge. That's why. Okay, okay. Awesome. That was my mistake. Okay. Cool. Oh, we're about to learn new moves, too. Um, Battle Cry. Not good for what I want you to do. So we still have Strong Jaw and Intimidate. I mean, this is really powerful, but I don't. I think we're okay. All right, I'm gonna speed up through this. You know, this is not very entertaining. For YouTube purposes, we're about to take on the Route Boss Trainer for Mount Whatever. Um, yes, this is happening live on our Twitch. Not Twitch, yo, I'm a fraud. It's uh, happening live on YouTube. Make sure that you check out the streams if you want. Um, going over new encounters. We have Zippy the Temple, Sauron the Golden, Tongue the Lickitung, obviously purposely spelled wrong, Kylie the Skiddo, Nacho Libre the Halucha, Suck Gondiz the Sock, and then we have Pinhead the. Wait, this is supposed to be a Pineco. He's a Pineco, but um. Then we have Lucky Charms the Minior, and then we have World Champ the Pachirisu. We're gonna assume that this is actually a Pineco. So, um. Sorry, let me, let me, <laughs> you guys, it, the little chat is probably not visible. I'll put y'all, I don't know where to put y'all. I'll put y'all over here. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're going to RNG for this fight. So let's go ahead and get into some random number generation. We have 10, 6, oh shit. I should take photos. I know, I know. You guys hate seeing it on YouTube of me taking photos, but it has a purpose. All right, six, 12, 10 is Shrump, the return of Shrump. Let's go, 43. So that's 30, 36, 42, 43 is Burnett the Remoraid. Next we have 41, wait, 36, 42, 41 is Fortnite Battle Pass, the Parasect. It's actually shocking that we are still getting these rolls. It makes sense because they their numbers stay, but it's it's very weird that we're that we're generating the same numbers. Um, so 30, 60, this would be 90. So 89, 88, 87 is Verizion, but the level cap is not in effect yet because this is an island scan. It's going to be at level 50, so we can't use it. So we're going to have to reroll again, and then we get three, which is going to be Ronald the Growlithe. Following that, we have 26, so it's going to be, this is 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, is going to be Kurama the Vulpix, Kurama, probably it's, I probably pronounce it, but, um, 60, I think this is 54, right? The guy, the fracture, yeah, we have a lot of returns. I think uh, almost everyone except for Rimmeraid and Growlithe has come before. That's very interesting, but of course, using this team of six, we are going to take on this route boss trainer. And yeah, we'll be back with the team overview and the boss fight itself. So YouTube purposes, we are about to take on this route boss veteran Akira. And we have a great squad for this. So uh, as you can see, two of our members are not leveled up all the way. That is purposely done because I believe that we can take it on with these four. Um, and also it's more optimal for us to not level up things if we don't need to. Uh, because then we can run some more niche sets in the future that could really help us out in some certain boss fights. So, leading off, we have uh, Ninetales. Oh my gosh, you know what? I just had a heart attack because maybe I should throw them back in the PC. Um, we're probably fine, right? I mean, 104, I remember that, so we should be good. So, leading off with Ninetales with Drought, we actually one-shot the Skarmory with Ignite because this Ninetales Karama is freaking really good it's modest 31 ivs um so it's doing a hell of a lot of damage so we just outright just one shot skarmory following that it will always be Surviper. we'll switch in our parasect who is max defense and eject button and has regenerator which will give us more health um once we take the cross chop we're gonna switch out into um shrump our ursa ring now and he's a beast with tough claws this thing hits like a truck uh we're gonna go for seismic fist we instantly one shot uh, following that, uh, Gallade will come in. On Gallade's cross chop, we will again go Parasect. Excuse me. We'll always go Parasect. We'll take the hit. 
I'm actually regenerator back up to full because of the little amount of damage that it does. And then following that, we'll go back out into Nine Tails. Because we have the Focus Sash, we can Radiant Edge. Guarantee one shot it. Um, I think there is like some slight error in like Radiant Edge for the Calc, but it shouldn't matter because Glade's defense is lower than special defense. So if it killed with the special defense, it's definitely killing with the defense. Uh, and then following that, we should also one shot the Alolan Radicate because the defenses are the same. This move always crits, by the way. That's why it's doing so much damage. Um, and then finally is Zangoose, which uh, we really struggled with figuring out who's going to take this crit slash, but it's actually going to be Parasect because with all the regenerator happening, we should be back up to full health where we can take it. And then we go into the guy fracture. We also have a focus sash. <laughs> really relying on focus sashes. Um, we go for a false strike to get the plus one and then we Draco Jet. So... That is basically the plan. I do want to double check that all these sashes are legal. I'm almost certain they are, right? Uh, yeah, they are. Okay, dope. Because I kind of just spawned them in. I kind of forgot about it, but... Alright, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Oh yeah. This should be this should be pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, I don't think we have to do any crazy sacks or anything. We should be fine with this team of four taking on this guy. We have a very good squad for this, so. Um, and the Skarmory does not have Sturdy, so we are fine. Um, Ignite is priority. I almost had a heart attack because I was like, wait, don't I need Quick Claw? But no, we're fine. We're chilling. We always go for Ignite here. And this should one shot. Bop. Let's go, Ninetales. Karama is a goat. All right. Of course, our plan is going to perfection as always. We're gonna go Parasect on the Cross Poison because we are Fairy type. We are Fire Fairy as Nine Tails. There's the Cross Poison. It's gonna do 30%. Does a lot, of course. Guaranteed crits because of Scope Lens and it's plus two crit rate. Um, so then we're gonna go into Ursaring. We have a Quick Claw, Seismic Fist. Um, yeah, easy game, easy life. Quick Claw. Look at the freaking shrop coming back. Bam. Damn. That's so dope. Alright. And then finally, the Lade comes out. Oh, stream pause, my bad. Um Galade comes out. It's gonna wanna cross chop. So we're gonna go Parasect. On the cross chop. Boom. Guaranteed live. Switch out with the E button. Then we go Nine Tails. And because we have the Focus Sash, we're guaranteed to live this. So we're going to go for Radiant Edge. 100% accurate. He parting shot it. Hmm. We should kill this. We should kill this. We always crit, so it doesn't it doesn't the parting shots don't matter. The problem is Okay, Gallade comes back out. Okay, I think this is still okay. I'm gonna radiant edge again. I'm focus sash, so we should go through the through that. Okay, we're focus sash. Awesome. Okay, so switch didn't matter at all. Okay, dope. Easy game, easy life. Oh my gosh, Karama, you're the goats. All right, Zangoose. Of course, we do have to switch here on the Slash, but we have a full health Parasect now with the Jack Button. We're gonna take this, gonna do max like 78, 80. Nice. Jack Button out. And of course, we have Fracture in the back. Hustle, Fall Strike. Fall Strike guarantees to hit. And then we also have a Slash or a guarantee live this. I actually went for Cross Chop, I'm surprised by that. Um, but yeah, this does not matter at all because we fall strike, get some chip off, and then with that plus one boost, we will go for a Draco Jet and win. Easy game, easy game. Nice, 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 nice. All right, we just beat Veteran Akira. That means that next episode we will be taking on Totem Togenomaru and other boss fights. If you did enjoy this episode, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe for more, and stay tuned for more. Sweltering Sun, RNG, Hardcore Nuzlocke. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace!